Where'd Patrick go? Here, here. Don't make me do this alone. Oh, goodness. <laughs> What's going on, pal? He's... <laughs> All right. All right. Luis Pedron in the house for International Film Festival in Manhattan. We just uh, concluded our seminar and everybody's so excited about it. Tell us um, what actually happened over there. Uh, we had live music, we had choreography of um, fight scenes. Um, did you ever do this as a um, class or a seminar already in another festival or is, was it an original? It was, I you know, when Jerry asked me to do something different, to do some sort of event. They already made it original. I was like, it was very original. <laughs> like, we had actually people showing sword fight, demonstrating sword fight moves. We had the composer there actually singing, and they were playing instruments with the, with the music. We had the costume designer there who talked specifically about costume choices. Yeah, it was a very different, very hands-on seminar, unlike anything I've ever done before. And uh, I want to introduce Patrick Terry as the producer. Uh, that's correct, that's correct, yeah. It was great events. So tell us about uh, what you, you the Mark is all about. Wow, well, it's about revenge and religion and, um, well, sort of, I guess re revenge is the first word I would use, but I'll let Doug describe it. <laughs> yeah, it was a play that was written in 1590 by Christopher Marlowe, who was a contemporary of Shakespeare's. But Marlowe was much blunter, he's much more direct, and it's a very visceral play, as Patrick said. It's about revenge. The Christians steal all of this um, Jewish merchant, they steal all of his goods, and he spends the rest of the play plotting his revenge. And, uh, yeah. Did you, did you actually travel to Europe to do this? I know your answer, but, you know, for them that, that doesn't know that you shot it, yeah, we shot in New York City on, oh. uh, on Governor's <laughs> Island. Yeah, surprise. But I did read a, book, a great book called Empires of the Sea, which was all about the siege of Malta that actually happened um, in 1565. And um, I guess one last thing, though, your advice to filmmakers out there, you have to pursue your dream, my usual question, for the both of you, and the website to f uh, check out Jews of Malta. Yeah, of course. WWW, the World Wide Waste, um, <laughs> Jewofmalta.com. We're also on Facebook at Facebook backslash Jew of Malta. How's that? That makes that's good for you, right? Right? That's good to me. Yeah. Okay, the same for you guys, huh? What? But, um, oh yeah. Advice to future filmmakers. Exactly. Um, get a good job. <laughs> get a really good job um, that you love. Yeah. Uh, I would say choose your collaborators wisely um, and just focus on good material and, and try to surround yourself with good collaborators and, uh, and don't give up. Yeah, yeah I, guess, I guess you can't give up. But anything I'm going to say is not. Get a very good part-time job. Get, a, get an apartment that's a hovel. You don't want your money going towards anything other than filmmaking because it's not. It's, you can do films really cheaply but not for free usually. I'm doing the same thing, I'm in the same boat, and hopefully I'm doing something right, because we're all here together, and it's an international film festival in Manhattan, here at the Quad Cinemas. We're still here till the 17th, November 17th. Thank you very much, guys. All right, Louis, thank you so much. Thank you, too. <laughs> thank you. And you were going to take the mic, too. <laughs> all right, let me get out of here. Um,